Yo, this your homie KP represent 1908 Productions. I'm gonna show y'all how we cooked up that track for King Shooter if I could talk to him. Super salute to everybody who rocking with the record. I mean, super salute, man. I'm gonna break this beat down from a sample to the mix of the sample, kick drum, snare, hi hat, and show y'all some tips and tricks I use when I be sampling these records. So anyway, look, we're going to dive into this track, and uh, the sample is Supreme Jubilee. Supreme Jubilee, the song is called It'll All Be Over. So, uh, check this out, man. All right, so check this out. I use Ableton Live, and I'm using Ableton Live 9. I ain't upgraded to 10 yet. So first thing I normally do, you know, let me play the original song real quick. And like I said, it's called Supreme Jubilees. It'll all be over. And um, let me go to YouTube real quick. You know what I'm saying? Go to YouTube real quick. I already had it loaded up ready for y'all. I... Right when I first heard it, I knew I had some when I found this one. It's all so, let's listen to it. One of these old days. Gospel song, by the way, 1979. We ain't gonna have to cry no more. You see, God's gonna wipe away all our tears. He gonna wipe the tears. From your eyes. Do you hear me out there? This evening? All right, so that's all I chopped right there. So I basically I chopped it from zero to fifty-four. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I right, got the beat laid out. So uh, let me get this more brighter. All right. So uh, oh my God, this stuff. Alright, I'm gonna pull up Serato. I've been sampling for a long time. You know, I came up in the uh, NPC era. You know, um, I pretty much use anything. I was using Reason for a minute, and I used to sample in the NNXT too, in them time frame. And then when the game had changed, homeboy name, uh, homeboy, homeboy from the hood named Sense. He was using able to live, man. We stand out at these Nashville at the time. And I didn't know what it was. And I kinda took a break from making records for a minute. But uh he put me on Ableton Live, man, and that was about 2012. And man, I ain't looked back since. But I wasn't using Serato then. I was using just uh the built-in sampler and Ableton Live. And you can also do the warping and stuff like that, which I'll get into. And by the way, y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's our first First, we just put the channel up probably a couple of days ago, and this will probably be the second video on there. And this is our first time doing a deconstruct. And we're gonna put plenty of them up there so y'all can see how we get down. We don't just sample though, we do all kind of records though. Uh, and also, shout out to King Shooter for uh, man getting the whole Queens to fool the record. Man, New York is going crazy over the record at this point. I think it's up at 130,000 streams on uh Spotify, 17,000 views on uh YouTube. I mean, it might be small numbers to someone else, but you got to thank for us. It's pretty big, though, you know what I'm saying? Because this is really our first New York placement. And with Street Dreams Records, shout out to Street Dreams Jungle, you know what I'm saying? And Mass Appeal for letting us come up to the studio, you know what I'm saying, and uh, cut records with them. So, look, all right. What I was trying to do, I was trying to put up another Serato sample real quick. And uh, I got my stuff heated so crazy. Right, here we go. Uh, let's put it. Let's put it. Let's put it. Let's put it right there. No, I can't do that. Hold on one second. That's why I make all my stuff so small, man. 
I'm gonna put it right here. Alright. Alright, now right now it's looking for the record. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to where I store my stuff at. I keep all I keep a lot of my stuff on the SD card. This is the uh, 2018 MacBook Pro. So everything is a uh, USB 3C. Alright. Is that right? USB C? Whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm gonna go to my downloads. There we go. I Supreme Jubilees. I. So when you drag a record or a song, perhaps, into Serato Sample, it'll analyze it from the tempo to the key. And what you can do is you can move it up and down like that. And we're gonna mess around and um, I can use the keyboard, but I. I'ma actually use my um I'ma use a keyboard on my on my on my uh on my laptop. Cause that's kinda what that's easy for me for at this point. So say if I want to take a point, oh it's out of range. Out of range, out of range, out of range. Alright. Take the K off. So basically these key ports down here correlate to the keyboard of the of the MacBook. So you got A. You can tap A. Alright. And then you got um you can go to W2. Any any one of the keys. Anything you see all the letters course correlate. So I can hit this and I can hit this. If you got a uh NPC, I forgot what it's called on NPC, but you can hit hit the key and then hold it down like that. Know what I'm saying? So every time I hit space bar, as you can see, it's going to play um, the actual uh, session in, in Ableton Live because sim simply because everything in Serato Sample is synced up to, and I got it, I got it synced up to the tempo that's in Ableton Live. Now, what I like about Serato Sample is that I can change the pitch of the sample, and it keeps the tempo, and it doesn't computerize the sample. So if I speed it up a tad bit. See, you got other programs out there you can speed it all the way up. See, we usually had this problem back in the day. The only program that allowed me to do it was ACID. Well, you can actually speed up. Well, first of all, the samples, when you, when you put the samples in ACID, they'll sync up to the tempo. That was the only program that was doing it for me back then. When you throw a sample or any loop off in ACID, the loops automatic sync to the tempo of the session. Well, now a lot of them programs doing it now, but this right here is doing it too. But an acid, if you speed up the tip, if you speed up the actual uh, pitch of the sample, it started to get kind of like a robotic or a computerized feeling. Well, Serato sample, the reason why I like it because when I speed up the sample, the tempo stays the same, but the sample doesn't have that computerized, you know. And that's the problem I'm finding when I when I sample into a. Uh, I do iOS production too. I, we, me, me and Poochie, we mess with the iPad a lot too, and we make tracks on the iPad. But that's what I'm finding now when I use Beatmaker 3. When I speed up the sample, it gives me this computerized type of sound. So I was messing with the iPad for a while, then I just jumped back to what, I, what I'm used to. So uh, let me go back to what I had. I think I was right here. Six. That sound like where I was at with it. The hardest part for me is finding the right tempo. Once you get a good sample, to me, once you get a good sample, it's like, man, what tempo I'm going to use? That's the hardest part. I got to find out what tempo. So then I go out feeling after that. I go out feeling the groove. See, I knew that was it right there. Once I heard that, I was like, yeah. So let me go to my key points. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go back to the original sample that I used. Uh, and I believe it's right here. Let me go back. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Alright, alright. Turn this up. So I might put the W right here. I'll put the S with it. Alright, zoom in. Cause I wanna get precise where I wanna get. I probably never used that one. 
I know I use D. So, turn them up. So I put my F on there. And you can keep going, but I want to get perfect. Alright, take it back. I grab this. So what you'll do is you'll record that like that. I'm gonna solo real quick because I, I already got the beat made. But you'll record what you're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Tap how you want it. So, I'm done with that chop, right? All right, let's go to the track on how I did it. All right, let's go. Solo the beginning of it. All right. And I also chopped the wave file, too. That's us. Kick. Alright. And I separate the hook from the uh, verse. Bring it back. Hi hats. That's a loop though that I use. I was looking for soul, and I was looking for some acoustic, acoustic drum pattern. Alright. Now here goes one of my secret parts. My bass. So I got cats back home, back home asked me how do I, you know, separate the instruments within the sample. So basically what I do is... I converted the sample to MIDI, and then I took a um, took a VST, and that this VST I'm using was expand, you know, and I'm pretty sure there's people out there like, man, he could have had another bass for that, don't, you know, so I really want to go live, but you get it. But anyway, so what I did was, I, I popped up with the expand, put a finger bass on it, and then once I found that bass end of that, that MIDI melody that I wanted, I threw a bass on there, and I followed the sample. And then what I did was I EQ'd the bass out of the actual sample itself. I think I did. Well, if I didn't, I should have. Well, I normally do. So you can see it down here. On that part, I did. You know what I'm saying? And you can hear it right here on this one. See, here's without the. See the bass pop off in there? Bring it in. And then watch out, whole beat come in. And then, as far as the brace, I love the chop. <laughs> I love the chop. That child. So 
So from the top, and yeah, Mass Appeal, kind of, well not Mass Appeal, but Street Dreams, whoever did the paperwork, man, I, if, you, if you paid attention, they kind of put the wrong producer name down in the credits, but it's all good though. Simple mistake though. And they said they're going to get on to change it. But um, yeah, 1908 produced that record for Shooter. And uh, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And I'm going to go through this whole beat with y'all. And uh, I'm gonna, it's going to be plenty of these deconstruct that we're going to put out. We appreciate y'all though. Like I said, we 19808 Productions. We got a website, 19808 Productions. Y'all go check us out, comment, you know what I'm saying? And uh, check out some of our beats. Follow us on Instagram, 19808 Productions, you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment on, we got tracks on there too. Comment, you know, go from there though. And uh, hit us up in the inbox, you know what I'm saying? Looking for beats, you know what I mean? And we go by budget. So whatever your budget is, if we can work with that budget, we'll, we'll rock with you. But here go to the beat from the top. Take care of my brother Cause I know that's what you wanted Wish I could smoke with my cousin